Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth McDonald. That's martial art, fitness. Um, we're going to be doing a basic boxing conditioning and workout. Just doing some hand techniques only. No kicking in the martial arts, just boxing itself. Um, I've been on this boxing kick ever since I was, I want to say, nine. Nine years old, very young, and now I'm 36, and I still train in boxing. Boxing is like the easiest martial art to learn, because you don't have to remember all those patterns and everything else. So that's the reason why I study it more, because, you know, it's good for the shoulders, it's good for the core, um, it's good for the legs, because um, you're moving around. Um, but... This is going to be a stationary workout. All you're going to be doing is working the core and you're going to be working your shoulders because you're going to be doing a lot of a lot of twisting mo motions um, into the technique. So we're going to start off with we're going to do six combinations. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot in the video. I don't want to make it very long or anything like that. We're going to start off with some jab. We're going to do 20 on each side. When you're training the fight, you got to train both sides equally. Otherwise, when you don't train them equally, um, one side is just going to be stronger than the other side. It's just going to be an uneven match. So, um, when you train in martial arts, you got to train them both sides equally. You just can't just train one side and be favored to that one side. You got to train the other side as well. Um, it can be confusing training the other side when you're not used to it, but you know, this is part of training, you know, that's how you get um, used to doing your training, you know, when you get used to um, being, you know, comfortable with your other, your right side, but when you go to your left side, you're not really that comfortable with your left, but work on your left more than your right, because you know your right can do more than what your left can so... You got to even it out. Um, you just can't just work one side. You, can, you always have to work both sides. You know, I'm just doing a boxing workout. Um, nothing fancy. They're just going to stand still. When I have our hands up, I have one hand behind the, the cheek, one hand up, one hand a little bit lowered and out in front of you. We're going to be in the fighting stance. I'm going to have our knees bent. I'm going to be doing a jab. One. And remember, when you do the jab at the same time, remember to breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, ninety, twenty. Reason why there's the breathing. That's where your that's where your chi, um, your power comes from when you execute the move. Plus, it helps your muscles relax when throwing the technique when you're doing that breathing. So we're going to be doing the jab cross. This is the second one combo. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nine, twenty. Other side, same thing. One, two, 
eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <coughs> This is a number three combination. We're going to be doing a jab, cross, hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Same thing on the other side. Always remember to have the chin tucked when unboxing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Damn people. Sixteen. Seventeen. Always remember to breathe when you're doing it because it helps you relax your muscles when when you're throwing a technique. Now this is the fourth technique. And that's a jab, cross, hook, and uncross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, ninety, twenty. Same 
same thing on the other side. So every time when a car comes by, I gotta stop because they make noise. Um, that one was the fourth combination. So we're gonna be on the fifth. We're gonna be doing a jab, jab, cross. That'll be one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Same thing on the other side. We'll be doing jab, jab, and across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Eating, That one was the fifth combination. So we're on the sixth one. Now this one is kind of tricky. It's kind of like throwing the hook. Except they're going more of an upper, uppercut motion. The uppercut can either be hit in the chin, or it could be hit in the surplex. Hooks could be either hit to the rib, surplex, or the head, or the jaw. Um, or it could be hit on the bicep of the arm in boxing, you know, if you want to damage your arm, opponent's arms. Um, but we're going to be doing... A jab, cross, uppercut, and a hook combination. That's our sixth combination.
So it'll be jab, cross, uppercut, and a hook. So it'll be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Same thing on the other side, jab, cross, uppercut, and a hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30 have it, quick, easy, simple, direct, boxing, workout, I know I got a good sweat on, just doing it just now. Um, so like I said, any martial arts school, uh, most of them 9 out of 10, some martial arts schools, you know, if you don't know how to punch, they will start you out in boxing. Um, but if you already know how to punch, and you do go to the martial art academy, and you already have a punch from boxing, already because you could taught yourself a long time ago on how to throw a punch then um they would train you on the art of kicking if you don't know how to kick um that's the reason why when i went to ata black Belt academy they just taught me on how to punch um they didn't really work with me on kicking they just taught me the karate way but when i went to itf they started t teaching me more about kicking since I had a punching ability already so I always like boxing because it's more easier uh, especially if your arthritis is acting up you know either in your foot shoulder or your back you know anywhere on your body you know you can still always do boxing because it's more easier on your body than any other martial art out there um, that's just in my partake in unboxing in unboxing itself and um, um, or you know you could do Tai Chi Tai Chi is another form of boxing but it's not like how you get into like the fighting stance type style way um, it's more of like a classical like where you do this and you know do all the flowery motions and but, you know, I'm just trying to set an example, you know, but I'm not really going to do that in this video. That's not what that video is about. Um, I'm doing just boxing in this video. But 
that is a form of boxing in Chinese. Tai Chi is a form of Chinese boxing. Um, it's a form of wrestling. So, um, I would say um, form of wrestling and boxing uh, combined. Um, because it does teach us punches and punching in it. Um, but it's just a weird way of doing it. Um, it doesn't use a lot of force than what um, regular boxing does. But um, when it comes to doing boxing, you know, you got to learn to um, channel your energy into the punch. And, um, and that's what I've been trying to do, you know, ever since I started, started boxing when I was younger and everything else, is that all I did was just hit the bag, you know, hit the punch of bag barehanded every night and um, when I was little and that's how I developed strong fists over the years and I didn't even hit, hit, hit the bag with clubs and when I went to the academy the academy instructor said you need to hit the bag with clubs otherwise you're going to break your hands I said this is how I've always trained I train the old way I don't train the new way I train bare fist bare knuckle and which that's the old way of Boxing. The old way of boxing is how to train bare fisted. But and now since I'm getting older, um, I do wear gloves more when I do train and on the heavy bag. But I'm not using the heavy bag in this video. As you can see, I just use the air. Um, but yeah, you know, if you don't have a punching bag, you know, you can always you know stay in stationary, work on your techniques if you don't have a whole lot of space like I do. Um, That'll be about it, you know, just plain and simple, direct. You know, I'm trying to be the GQ and Do approach when it comes to martial arts. Um, as Bruce Lee style um, in martial arts, nothing fancy. I don't do anything fancy. It's all simple, direct. And you can do anything of what I do in self-defense. Um, it does help you in self-defense. Um, nunchucks, you know, I did in the other video. Um, that's just for just messing around pretty much, you know. You, it's not really, you know, yeah, it is a weapon, but, you know, that's just, you know, for showmanship. But um, I do it just to get a quick warm-up with the arms and everything and, and the wrists and everything. And that way, when I start doing my shadow bossing, and my arms are already warmed up and already uh, hand-eye coordinated. Because that's the reason why I like doing the nunchucks, because it helps me uh, maneuver around with my boxing, which is the pawn and toucan, a part of striking arts and all martial arts. And so, there you have it. Um, Seth McDonald, Seth, known as Seth McDonald 4, but I switched my YouTube name to Seth Martial Art Fitness. And like I said, put to the like, subscribe, do your training, do your research, train hard, train smart. And like I said, I made this video a little too longer than what I should have. It is a nice day out, and I'm enjoying what's left of it. Even though my allergies are crazy like right now, but I don't care. I'm doing this for you guys. And like I said, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. Hit all on the bell. You'll get every one of my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.